All right, for more on all this, we are joined by the great Bill O'Reilly, host of No Spin News on BillOReilly.com. Also the author of Killing Crazy Horse, The Merciless Indian Wars in America. Bill, great to have you on the show. Thanks so much for coming on. Just want to ask off the bat, what do you think of the Biden climate plan? Well, what struck me was that the president and John Kerry said pretty much the same thing to um, propagandize what they're doing. And they said that all the storms and the fires that America has experienced over the you know past four years or so, I thought they were going to blame them all on Trump. That's a reach. <laughs> but they blamed it all on climate change. Yeah. So all uh, the California fires, even though it's a fact that California mismanages its um, forests right. and the hurricanes that hit uh, Puerto Rico and the Gulf Coast and Texas and the floods and, and everything, they're all generated by climate change. Well, I don't know any reputable climatologists that are in agreement with that. Yeah. But what the president and John Kerry do effectively is that they reinforce the myth of whatever policy they're dealing with. And the myth is that we're all going to die soon. Um, and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez told us that, so we have to know it's true. <laughs> we're all going to die soon because the planet is heating up. Yep. And so John Kerry and Joe Biden are going to spend trillions of dollars. I think it's $2 trillion, $2 trillion. on the Green New Deal in the USA. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to save the kids. It's going to save everybody. All right. So my question to the 80 million people who voted for Joe Biden is, do you really buy into this? Are, are, is that what you believe, because it, as you know, Rob, you've been doing this for a while. Yeah. People believe what they want to believe on both sides. They believe what they want to believe. And you can present them with facts, you can present them with logic, which is not that many people that can be persuaded. But today in the United States, we saw $4 trillion added to the federal budget. Right. We saw two on climate change and two on COVID. Yeah. That's $4 trillion, okay, that we don't have tax receipts to cover. No. That's don't a, that's have a, That's a quarter of our, our economy, yeah. I mean, every year, that's a quarter of okay. our economy. Right. So what has to happen yeah. if Biden and Kerry are being honest in what they're going to do? Well, everybody in this country is going to be paying through the nose. Everybody. And that's socialism. That's and what do they, it looks like Joe Biden wants. Yeah, I mean, they, they want the government in on everything. And do they hurt themselves? You know, you were talking about how they, they, they take it way too far. You know, I think there's a lot of people that say that the climate and, 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 the, and the planet is something we want to protect. I want to protect the planet. But when you take it to an extreme level where I can call BS on it, all of a sudden, I'm inclined to not believe you, whereas if you were more honest with it and you didn't tell us that every fire and earthquake and hurricane was the fault of climate change, maybe you'd get more people on board with it. Well, I think anybody who doesn't believe the planet is warming uh, is not looking at the real world. And I, I do an analysis on BillOReilly.com tonight on the No Spin News where I know the planet is warming. Yep. What I don't know is why. Is it nature, God? Is it man-made? I don't know. But as you pointed out, I thought it was an excellent point you made, that all good people should want a cleaner planet. We should all work that way. But what President Biden seems to want to do is break the capitalist economy down, right. which certainly Ocasio-Cortez and Bernie Sanders and Warren, that's what they want to do. Break the capitalist economy down by breaking the fossil fuel industry, uh, the transportation industry, all of that. Break it down and then rebuild it, all right, in the socialist sure. arena where the government, and for people watching tonight, this is a very simple equation. Right now in America, the free marketplace dictates who succeeds and who fails. It's called competition. Right. What the socialists want is Washington, D.C. to control the entire uh, economy. Yep. And Washington will choose 
who succeeds and who fails. Right. But in order to have that big central government, you have to give up most of your salary and assets to fund these insane projects. So that, that these people can, really can dictate your lives. Well. Yeah. So these yeah. feckless people in Washington can tell you what to do and how to live. It's a scary thought. We don't have a lot of time left, Bill. I want to ask you one more question, though. Uh, regarding Fox News, they're trying to kind of rebuild their brand right now. Uh, they took a hit after the election. I, I wonder, do you ever think that they'll recapture what they had under Roger Ailes in those prime years? Well, it was all me, Rob, that, that made them a success. You know, <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, for you, we media know, matters, know. people out there. Yeah. All right. The mistake that Fox made was it tethered itself too closely to Donald Trump. And Donald Trump was basically the anchor of all the shows. And he was the major talent. And they did that for four years effectively. And Fox News got good ratings by going to Trump all the time. Mm -hmm. But then when Donald Trump is gone, what does Fox News do? Well, you can say Joe Biden's a bad guy and inefficient, whatever, but it, it doesn't have the same pop. No. So the reason that I succeeded on Fox News and on the radio and TV now on BillOReilly.com is because I don't tether myself to anyone. I do independent analysis on a wide variety of things that affect everybody's life. Mm -hmm. I'm not a political player. I'm not a registered uh, anything. I'm an independent and therefore I have a lot more room to do interesting things. So that was a mistake that Fox News made, and it's paying for it now. Mm. Bill O'Reilly, thank you so much for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Good to talk with you. Sam Rob.